Our next movie tells the still almost unbelievable story of Patty Hearst, the member of America's most famous newspaper family. He was kidnapped by an underground terrorist group in the early 1970s and actually joined up with the group. Please, God, don't bury me. In 1974, a series of shocking incidents inspired a media circus. Now, 14 years later, her story is about to be told. Patty Hearst. Uh, after I graduated high school, I uh, served my mission in Colorado, Nebraska. And in late 1972, I was assigned to way out east to Grand Island, Nebraska, uh, which is kind of hard for a person used to mountains when it's all flat. And, you know, but a lot of these historical things are being salvaged from the FBI files to work as a file clerk in San Francisco. Was there for four years. Of course, all this time I'm worried, I love history, but yet I'm in law enforcement. How can I intermingle? Well, but more importantly, I was there during a very well-known case. This little kidnap case, you might have heard of Patty Hearst. Uh, I wasn't an agent, but I was involved in that and the fact that I was assigned to the Berkeley office of the FBI where the kidnapping occurred for about three or four months. And then I came back to San Francisco. I was there the day she was arrested and brought in. Well, her, her grandfather, um, the Hearst Corporation, which they're newspaper people. They owned one of the San Francisco papers, very wealthy family. They have the Hearst Castle down in Southern California, which is, you can't buy it if you even try it. And she was a little 19 year old college student. They were a group of radicals that were organized out of the prison system back in the 60s into the 70s. Patricia Campbell Hurst. Occupation? Urban Gorilla. Started by a, a, a black radical by the name of Donald DeFree. What's the matter with you? They're all thinking like white people. Don't need hundreds, need thousands. We're going to do a bakery. I don't believe it. It's so brilliant. That's a fucking chicken shit, bourgeois. I wish I was black. I mean, I just wish I was fucking black. At first, she's a victim. But over time, she started changing to where, from being a victim, now she joins up with them. I guess you must be Tico and Yolanda. You got all of us. Yeah. Can we get on with the business now? Trying to get in down there, and that's when they got caught in one of, their, one of these suburbs of L.A., and the police found them, and they had the... You know, they had the shootout where the house burned and killed her, but Patty wasn't with them. The Harrises and, and Patricia Harris were in L.A., but they weren't there at that case where all these other members of the S.I. were killed. I finally figured out what my crime was. I lived. Big mistake. Patty Hurst. 